Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Marion, the owner of Mary Vintage Art. Today, I wanted to share with you how to prep a piece of furniture before painting it. And this is basically the easiest and the quickest way to do it, and it's gonna get you a very good result. So today I have this secretary office that I purchased almost um, a year ago and it's, it's had been sitting in my garage for a year now and I finally decided to go ahead and work on it. So now what we need to prepare this piece, we need a sandpaper. So what kind of sandpaper or how rough is the sandpaper you want to use on your piece it depends on the piece that you are going to work on so it depends on the finish it's on it the sealer that they have been using before so if it's very thick and oily based like polarison or shellac you will need a very rough uh, sandpaper like 80 or 120 but this one I was working on it before, so I did before give it a little bit of sanding, but this piece I haven't. So I'm gonna share with you how to do this piece with some details on it. Um, it doesn't have a very um, heavy uh, sealing coat, so I'm just gonna use a 220 sanding paper, and um, I'm just gonna sand it with this one. So I'm gonna take a small piece like this, and all you need to do, you don't need to clean it before you sand it. I don't do that because I clean it after sanding it. So what you need to do is just rip it and start sanding it like this. Until you see some dust coming out of it and there is a little grit starting to show, the real wood starting to show. You will go into all the details. Um, if you want to use a sanding machine, you can. But I don't think this is going to take me a lot of work because it doesn't have a very high shellac or a polar and oil based finish. So you don't need to really use a sanding machine. All you need to do is go and sand it like this go into the details just take off the sealer tool and this is what's going to make the paint that you're going to apply on it make the wood sucks it and keep it without taking it off easily i'm going to go in the I took off the board before I start. just put your fingers like this inside your sandpaper and give it an angle so you can get the angle right. You will keep sanding until you don't see any more shine in the finish, then this is what you need. So easy and doesn't take a lot of or I would say that this is the most important step in have doing any piece of furniture. This is the most important step you want to do. 
the prepping is the most important step and of course the finish but the prepping is the most important one because if you don't prep good then when you apply your paint it won't stay it will get scratched easy and all of this so this is basically what you want to do you want to go ahead and keep sanding your teeth like so if you can see look at my hand this is what came out of it and this is what you want so the next step it's gonna be easy all you need to do is get a clean cloth piece like this one and go ahead and clean all this dust away like so you can see no more shine here i don't know if you can see it or not there is no more shine so there is no more a sealer coat on it and you will just clean like this this is the first step of cleaning and then the second step will be i have this spray that i have made myself or you can use any uh multi-purpose um cleaner uh i use this vinegar water and uh, alcohol a little bit of alcohol just to get um off any residue of oil or grease or anything like that so i'm just going to give it a little of this cleaner and then i'm going to tie my rope like this and start cleaning with it until i make sure there is no more dusty coming out of the sand and i'm gonna give it after this a couple of hours depends on how the weather on your area so i will give it like two hours to fully dry i'm not i didn't put a lot but i want to make sure it is 100 percent dry before i go ahead and um paint it so the paint will stick longer so very easy to do but very 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 important and necessarily to do this step because if you did not do it the paint you're wasting basically your time the paint won't stay the wood will not absorb the paint and some other time if the um this is a little tip if the finish is very very high oily base finish like polyurethane and it has a lot of coats and stain uh, underneath it underneath uh, you would maybe i would recommend that you would use a stripper a paint stripper so you can strip it all off and then sand lightly and then go ahead but this is a simple piece so i wanted to share with you and thank you so much for watching me and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like it if you like my video and wait uh, for me in this next video i'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful piece and then we're going to see together how it's going to turn to be thank you so much and have a good night